Up now. Up now. All right. Retro Adventurer. Here we go. So I flip. Yep, cool. All right. Why have I got a green line around there? We are recording. Okay, that's all right. Whatever. Okay, so we have uh, some settings and stuff. Cool. So reset game is that to remove like you saved? Uh, yeah, it's like uh, removing all the levels. The the levels will be set to the default level, which is first level, and the currency will be set to zero. Cool. So that means you got like save working then. Yeah. Awesome. Um. All right. So we've got some coins here as well. Oh, we've got a level select. Nice. More levels coming soon. Good. The screen looks good. Okay. So we've got... Uh, a, you can't see because it won't... Zoom won't share my whole screen for some reason, but there is some... There is an extra health and an icon of a skull next to that zero, which I assume is kills. Yeah. Uh... If I can audio, okay. Good. Okay. I got stuck on something. Then, have you fixed the the foot problem? Oh yeah, I already have fixed it, but I think I have some diamond pulling in issues. Yeah, because sorry. I already have, yeah, because the player has two collider, one is the player body collider and one is feet collider. And I have fixed it, but I think I still have, like, sometimes it's stuck in the game. Yeah, because you can see, like, right now I'm stuck. Yeah, and the, if it's stuck, the player has to jump. The sprite has some transparency issues in the background. Which sprite are you talking about? Um, oh, I died. How did that happen? Yeah, so if if you have 100 was... coins, you can continue still the game. Otherwise, if you don't have, then the game will start again. So that was the timer, was it? Uh, I think... Yeah, because I didn't get hit by anything. I think I ran out of time. Um, it might be worth... Having a screen that tells the player that they ran out of time rather than died. Uh, maybe uh, because in the top I have time, but maybe I can make it bigger. Like uh, yeah, whenever it, like thirty seconds left. Um, yes, I, I definitely think that for sure. Um, and even maybe like have maybe you could have the, like the background flash red with of the whole like timer thing, so that black background could like switch between red and black. Not don't flash really fast, just like. You know, kind of like a heartbeat almost. Um, yeah. As you get to yeah, maybe thirty seconds. Uh, yeah. But also, oh, actually, just died there. Um, how when when the player loses because of time, if it's possible, try to tell them that they lost because of that, not that they died. Oh, um, yeah, like uh, whenever they're on time. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Just say, yeah, yeah, you've run out of time or something. Yeah, I was like, oh, how did I die? I didn't even know I died. I always say, like, as many 
as many possible forms of visual feedback that you can get from player. Well, not even just visual, visual, auditory, text-based, the lot is always better. If you can have four different ways to tell the player each thing in your mechanic, that's generally what you want. Eighty-one seconds. No, I'm stuck. Uh oh. Oh no. Um, I think something as well that would improve the coin system um, is every time you collect a coin, tell the player how many points they got. So it'd be like. Plus one, plus one. Uh, and you get, if you click on the pause icon at the, at the very bottom, right side. Yeah. Oh, the pause icon. Yeah. yeah, so you can even change the audio setting there as well, like mute and unmute. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, and you can just the thing. Yeah. And I'm stuck. Come on, I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah, we really gotta get the stuck problem fixed. Hey! If you click on the home button, the level 2 will be unlocked and it will be saved automatically. I'm using the player press, awesome. uh, player press to save the levels. Yep, no, that's very cool. Um, so if I was to exit the game, for example, it would, I'd be able to go back and go to level 2. Yep. Awesome. Very cool. Yeah, so every time I collect a coin, just like a little effect that comes that says plus one. And then with the, the treasure chest, you can come up and tell me how many I got from the treasure chest as well. Uh, yeah, I was, yeah, I was working on like some sort of the, uh, some currency animation or currency panel, like when I was there collecting coins, that number yeah. will increase like one, two points. And, yeah. Cool. Ah. Yeah. Yes, we're still got enemies going through the, well, the ground. Yeah. Also, might want to um make that a little bit higher as well because I got getting stuck. I think you could make the player you could make the player a little bit smaller. Like in terms of the sprite size, I feel like it's quite big. Um, yeah. yeah, you don't need to change the jump height or anything like that. Just the actual scale of the sprite could probably be like half the size. Um, and then the collisions might work a little bit better. Yeah, uh, because uh, yeah, I think so. Because I already have increased the player size from like 1.3, uh, maybe I will switch back to the one. Yeah, it just it just feels really big in the whole. Yeah whole grand scheme of it, because even if you look at like the enemies, they look really small and, and whatnot. Yeah. Oh. No, 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 no! <laughs> um, Maybe you have, if you have 100 coins, you can continue. So I actually can't see my coins now. Oh yeah, I think I'll have to make some currency visible when you are dead. If, if you click on it, continue. Oh cool, that's awesome. Oh god. The, the player has, right now, it has green effect and uh, Enemy can not get uh, to the player like for three to four seconds after it was right. life game. Very cool. Maybe um that might be better as like a green circle around the player rather than because it was very hard to see that part of the Um yeah. You could just use like a sprite that's almost like a green circle to make it look like a shield. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. I've actually still got a hundred coins. Is that? Oh, I died. I was at the tunnel. Okay. So. Oh. Yep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, I think you don't have to find it. At this time, you don't have to find it. Yeah. So when I run out of time, if I click continue, it still uses my coins. Oh. Okay. 
I have to make a different logic if if the yeah. player runs out of time, a different manner. If a player dead, because when run out of time, I I don't think I can give player choice to start again or continue. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Look, it looks like I can't get a level two anymore either. Oh wait, this is level two. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> I don't see how fast I can move through it. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ah. I don't know. Continue button um, just not work if you don't have enough coins as well. Yeah, um, because when the player takes on to continue, it, uh, I'm starting the read level again. Maybe I will switch to the user to the main menu. Maybe, yeah, or just um, just make it grayed out so that like I like it because it um, it tells me how many coins I need to continue. You know yeah. what I mean? But if I don't have enough, I should just not be able to press the button. Uh, I'm planning to uh, add some sort of like rewarded app, like uh, giving player option instead of 100 coins, he can just watch a video ad to continue. I'm just waiting for my game to be published on a Google Play Store because I already have submitted on Saturday and still waiting. Maybe they're gonna uh, publish like maybe tomorrow or maybe after the evening. So in the next update, I'm planning to add like video uh, rewarded video ad. So you user can watch a video to get a life instead of if the, if the user don't have 100 coins, they can just watch a video. timer has really made it feel more urgent, which is good. The total kill is 19, you have killed 19, so I'm planning to add some sort of like uh, a reward, a different reward for level completion. If you have killed 19 enemies, so you're gonna get like 190 gold for the for, from this level. Uh, yep, 10 good. gold for killing each enemy. Yep, that's, that's really good. Um, because I definitely got an urgency about, you know, wanting to run through this as fast as possible because of the time. What might be good is if there was some kind of collectible that I could get um, that increased the amount of time I had. Yeah, like the food pickups and the diamonds, some sort of stuff? Yeah, or, you know, just a clock or something, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. it just gives me the ability to extend the time that's left in my, my level uh, yeah. so that I can go around and kill more things to get more coins, you know, right? I'm, I'm planning to add, uh, maybe I can add the gold pickup, like that diamond pickup, because we already have a gold currency, I can add maybe diamond pickup in the game, and uh, I'm planning to add uh, like uh, a shop where the player can buy power, like uh, right now the player has only one power, maybe if I can add three to four powers preset, so the player can switch between these powers, if the user can buy each power for 100, uh, uh, maybe 200 diamonds, and each scene has like three, four diamonds only. So it's like a jail currency in the game. Yeah. Um, look, I mean, that's a pretty big update to do uh, in three weeks, uh, along with all the other stuff and the, and the fixes. So I don't know about adding more mechanics now, um, yeah. but something as simple as like a timer pickup is at least enough to make me want to keep exploring the level, if you know what I mean. Um, because right now uh, I, I feel rushed, so I, you know, if, if the timer runs out, I can't use 100 coins to continue, so I kind of yeah. have to get through really fast. 
Um, so either that, or you can make it, if I spend 100 coins, when the timer runs out, I get another, like, 30 seconds or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and also, I think I can, instead of gold, maybe I can add heart uh, in the game. Like, if you collect one, you can have one extra life while you are playing the game. You have already one extra life. Yeah, sure. That's a simple mechanic as well. Yeah. I like the, the chests. You could have some kind of particle effect that plays when you pick it up though, and a different sound effect as well. Ah, no. Quick. <laughs> I can't jump. Ah, oh. damn. Last 100 coins. No, no, no. Actually, it's the left side, is it? No, no, right side, no, right side. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. All right. Cool. Um. Yeah. Look, I think it's definitely had heaps of progress going on. That I think uh, you're doing really well. Um, although Bloom is as bad at video games, I am not. <laughs> um. I finished it. Haha. -ha. Yeah. Beat that. Uh. So look. It, it, it's it's really good so far. Um, it, it's obviously got some things that still do, do need to be fixed up, like we've got the problem with the player not being able to move. Um, definitely want to fix that up ASAP, because uh, it just feels bad to move around, and you know that's the core mechanic of your game is essentially moving around. Um, so let's let's clean that up, make sure that's fixed. I think uh, balance the times a little bit. I feel like what well, the urgency is good with the timer. I feel like I'm rushed through the levels at the moment. Um, the time is not long enough for some of the longer levels. So yeah. changing the timer, maybe on that last level, for example, to something that, um, uh, like 20, 30 seconds extra in each level. Yeah. Like in my, especially in the last level, like level four, I, I even though I have noticed like the time is the same like level one. So I might have to increase more because the difficulty is a bit more in level three and four, but the time is less. So I'm going to add some more. Yeah, time. exactly. I think the, um, the time is, is yeah definitely just too short. Uh, and uh, would you recommend anything for the settings panel? If you click on the settings button, because I have added some sort of like the follow buttons on social media. Uh, yeah, let me have a look through that. If you click on the Discord or any Facebook or Instagram, right now I have added the links of uh, a mini clip games company. I have added their official pages link, but later if I can replace with my own link. Just for the testing, I have added there. Uh, yep, so we got Facebook, goes to Facebook, cool. Uh, in terms of settings, I would say, uh, like any other extra feature, would you recommend? Yeah, it? yeah, because I'm planning to add, like, whenever the user reset the game, I'm planning to make a small another panel which will ask the user are you sure you want to reset the game and then yeah, the good. game will yeah that's definitely important um because like especially with something like resetting your game that could be quite problematic 
Uh, I guess things like, you know, volume sliders, so you don't have to completely turn the volume off. Then again, you can just turn the volume up and down on your phone. Um, yeah. So that's not really that big of a deal. Uh, I don't know, like in terms of settings, like how many you really need for this kind of game. Um, I'm just trying to think of, of settings I've seen in other mobile games. So let me go through my ones. Because obviously, yeah, you've got your... Um, your social media, which is good, like it's really good that that's all integrated and and working. Um, let's see what I've got here. Yeah, the game is cute <laughs> for sure, and and it, it's quite fun to push the shoot button as well and kill the enemies. Right, it's it's very simple mechanic, but it it work it just works well, and the enemies die. Simply, it's it's not a hard game, I would say, but I guess the the difficulty comes in the rush. Um, and I was, you know, I, I did lose to dying sometimes as well, especially when I first started playing it. Uh, so you know, there's there's there is a difficulty level. Um, you don't need any languages because there's no talking or anything like that. That's fine. Uh, yeah, the only thing where people really do is sound um for different sliders for sound otherwise i i don't think you really need any other settings no not there's not a lot of settings for mobile, mobile games um yeah not a lot that you can do at least uh within within scope of the the rest of the class so i think that's fine but yeah i think just add in that are you sure for the resetting the game uh but other yeah. than that it's enough for the settings you know yeah fine. cool awesome all right Let's move on to Forgotten Realms. Is that the name of the game? Or is that the name of the uh, studio or group? Name of the game, cool. It's very... Um, the name itself, for some reason, is very Journey to the West. Like, along with the fact that you're using the Monkey King 2 as a main character, I, uh, I, I rate that. Forty seconds, and we'll have it downloaded. Uh, what's up, Dylan? Well, uh, you know what? It's six thirty. Uh, maybe we'll take a break before I go ahead and don't mind if I microwave dinner. Perfect. Let Let's actually take a break before I go ahead and do this review. Um, because we are an hour and a half in, we're about halfway through, so. Yeah, and Dylan obviously wants to eat. Um, and I think uh, the rest of us should get up and, and have a bit of water and something like that. Uh, do your coffee or whatever you normally do. So let's take a break. And when we come back, we'll do attendance and then I'll do the uh, the review on this. And then we can split off into our groups and you can discuss the feedback that I've given you uh, over this lesson. All right. Uh, let's... Put the timer up. All right, ten minutes. Be back by the end of the timer. See you soon.